Hey loves, it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be about hair. Now, unfortunately, I did accidentally delete the very first portion of this video, which was just me showing the bundles and the lace frontal beforehand. So yes, you guys, you heard me right. It's a lace frontal this time. This is my first time ever, 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 ever creating a wig with a lace frontal. Um, I would say that in the beginning, I was a little nervous because I didn't want to ruin it. Um, but it is kind of the same steps as sewing on a lace closure. Um, you just have more to sew and it is a little bit more tweaking and so forth. I did include combs in the unit as well. And there are four combs and it's made on the stretchable mesh dome caps. Alright love, so I decided to show you how I put on my lace frontal. This here is my wig block mannequin head, which I use to create all my wigs on. This gives us like a precise fit. I do have several of them in different sizes. And this is the lace frontal. And as you can see, it will need to be cut away the extra lace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it as flat as possible against the spandex dome cap that I have here and I'm going to be using some just pins some sewing pins to hold it in place which will give it a nice tight fit or not even tight fit but you want to make sure that you're pulling it taut and which means kind of tight but not too tight and you want to make sure that the hairline is a little tiny 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 bit past the actual wig cap itself I, I always put my closure hairline and even my lace frontal hairline a little bit past the actual cap um, because I just want it to fit properly so I went ahead and pinned it throughout the entire lace frontal and now I'm going to be sewing it on and this is just the sewing method that I use unfortunately you probably really can't see it that well but um, normally I don't sew my closures on until like the second or third bundle depending on how many bundles of hair but being as the lace frontal you need to sew it on first so I'm just going to go ahead and sew the entire lace frontal throughout the cap and you don't want to sew the front because that is where it's going to lay and you will need to make sure that once your lace frontal has been sewn on and all your hair has been sewn on you can go ahead and cut away at the inner side of the actual lace frontal just as you would do a closure so this is still me here just sewing away sewing my lace frontal on and now once I'm done with that because it was three bundles of hair and the lace frontal takes up a lot of the space I'm going to go ahead and fold the track in half and I'm going to begin sewing my first track on the bottom portion of the spandex dome cap and what I like to do is I'll put the actual needle through the track and loop it through as you see here making sure because it's kind of folded over it is folded over I pu I'll pull the needle through and I'll wrap it under the needle and over the needle two to three times and I'll pull it really tight this allows this allows the actual wefting tracks that are folded to lay super flat against the wig cap a lot of times I've noticed that when sewing or doing a, a fold over method people don't pull the thread tight enough and the actual fold over is kind of like bumpy it's not laying flat so that is how I do my sewing especially for the ends of the actual fold over tracks and the very beginning as you see here so it's going under the needle and over three times once again around and under and over the needle three times this allows it to lay extra tight and it pulls and allows the actual track to lay as flat as possible and once I've gotten a good ways I'll just just regular so well and once I've gotten to the end I'll do the same as well and I'll fold it over and co continue the same method And here you see me doing in the same method and now I'm going to be folding over the track and like I said this is sold in half this is folded in half this actual wefting track so it's super thick on the ends which makes it a little bit harder for the needle to get through you want to make sure you're not going through the elastic but just the material because if you do go through the elastic your band will not stretch and for this particular one I could have went through the elastic because I didn't want it to be so stretchy in the back being that I had to cut off a lot of the cap 
So this is just a close up of how I do it. I'll have the needle underneath and over three times with the thread. And same method here. I like to use the pins because they do allow the track to lay still and also flat. The hair is from Instant Beauty Hair and I'll post their information as well as their Instagram. The hair is actually really pretty. It's Brazilian body wave hair and if I'm incorrect I'll post the information for the hair specs down below. Um, it is I do believe it's three, a two, 22 inches and a 20 inch and a 16 inch closure or 16 inch lace frontal. But like I said, I will post the information below of the actual specs. So the hair came out really pretty. The ends are really, really full and just gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. These curls I did put in about five days ago, five, six days ago, so they haven't fallen yet. And of course I did do a middle part in this unit. So I'm going to be putting her on. I didn't include any um, concealer yet, but I will be putting that on. But I wanted to show you guys how it looks beforehand. And it was really, really super easy to make. So yeah, let's begin. Okay, love, so it is time to put this baby on. I've already went ahead and put some concealer on her, or you know, and I used my Beauty Treats for $5.99. Along with that, I did use my I Love New York LA Colors Contour Palette, which is a powder formula. And I'm going to go ahead and place the combs where I put them. I do think I need to place the combs elsewhere. But I'm going to tell you this. This hair is beautiful. First time ever making a lace frontal. And I am so proud of myself. Like seriously proud. So just to blend in my hairline a little bit with this closure or this frontal. I'm going to use some concealer along with that. My palette from LA Colors. But like I was saying the hair is super soft. I am very surprised and very pleased with the outcome of this actual hair. Um looks are deceiving um you know when you get things in the package sometimes just the way they look may not be all that great but you know what this hair came out just extraordinary beautiful and i'm so happy to have reviewed it Okay, you guys, so I finally put this unit on. Um, I will tell you this, really super easy to make a lace frontal. At first, I was a little nervous. And if you guys are wondering how I got these, like, big beachy waves, I did use my 8-in-1 barrel um, attachment from Irresistible Me. And it was just the biggest barrel. I used actually the biggest, biggest barrel. And I just basically twirled the hair and twined it around the rod and left it on for like 10 seconds and that's how I got these curls which have been in this hair for like uh, I would say like five five six days um so yes I did use my favorite products as always and I will say this I do like the fit of it for it to be my first unit uh well first lace frontal I was really kind of leery about where to place the combs at because I'm so used to placing them in a certain position on a, a closure wig and it's always on the cap so that was the only downfall for me. I think I may need to move them a little bit closer. But for the most part, the wig is on really, really stable. The only thing that I'm not like a big fan of is the dome cap that's attached to it in the back. I could have probably used something better because you're only going to use a little bit. So you really don't need the dome cap. It kind of loses its stretch. So I'm going to try to find something else to use for the next go round if, if and when I make another lace frontal. But I love the fact that you can part this anywhere you want in the unit without having to kind of like shift your wig to the left or to the right if you had a closure on. So, yes, really full, very pretty hair. This is like some really gorgeous hair. And like I said, they are on Instagram and they do have a website as well. So if you guys want to check it out, I will post it for you below. But it's very affordable hair. But the main important thing to me was the ends on it. That is what I take a uh, like a big look into when I'm doing hair. Because I've gotten wigs or I've gotten hair where the ends are really thin. And it's like you need more bundles. I like for my entire hair to be like super full. So this was like a plus. I did not cut this hair at all. I just didn't want to. I decided just to leave the length with it. Was no cutting involved with this unit. I just wanted it to left the way it was. Plus it was just so long. Um, I'm thinking like it's like 24 inches. If not, it's probably 22. Um, because the bundles are basically, you know, to the very bottom. Like the nape of my neck. 
but the hair came out absolutely gorgeous so you guys I will post their information for you guys below and let me know what you think of this unit from instantbeautyhair.com I do apologize for deleting the first portion of the video but it was basically just the unboxing me showing you the bundles and the lace frontal and then this would have been the outcome anyway so yeah all the information will be provided for you guys below stay diva and devo delicious as always and I'll see you guys in my next video